Hey, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. Just want to share this quick little video about a problem with DaVinci Resolve and if you're using a Mac. So if you just started using Resolve, you might have noticed that when you export videos, it's not the correct look as in DaVinci Resolve. It's a little over, uh, like the saturation and the color are off. They're a little bit bright and undersaturated. So it took me a while to figure this out and I'll just show you the setting so you can move on and export and get the look you want. Okay, let's look at my screen here. So I've got a room here uh, for a real estate video. It's looking okay, um, but if I go, so I'll just show you a screenshot. So I'm gonna export a screenshot. You know what I need to do, I actually need to be, I need to open the clips. Okay, which one is it? There we go. Get that screenshot. I'm gonna close these clips again. So this is the one screenshot. I'm gonna sometimes I've done this, I've exported screenshots, so I'm gonna just put it into this folder here. Uh, I'm gonna call it YouTube Rec 709. And this is where just the export settings are set to Rec 709. And you'll see in a sec what I mean. So this is Rec 709. The thing you're going to want to do when you fix it, to fix this problem, is if I can get to my settings here, down in the corner, your output color space has to be set to Rec 709A. The A stands for Apple because there's that problem. Anyways, I set that to Rec 709A. Okay, perfect. Nothing changes. Your grade is good. I'm going to do another thing here, another uh, screen grab, and I'm going to export this. I'm going to call it uh, YouTube Rec 709A to show you that. So I'm going to just jump over to Bridge here, and I'm going to pick the ones. Where are you? These two guys, the YouTube ones. I'm going to close these windows that were open before and you'll see the difference right away. So here is when it was exported just with Rec 709 and it's totally washed out. Like if you if you jump back to Re Resolve here you can see it's darker. It's annoying. It's really, it was really annoying. I couldn't figure it out. But if I go to the one exported with Rec 709 Rec 709A as the output tag, it's fine. Like, if you jump over to Resolve, no, not Bridge again, sorry. Jump over to Resolve, you can see that they're exactly the same. But the one, see, if I flip between the two, you can see the difference. Rec 709A as the output color space tag, that's what you want for Mac. Otherwise you get this washed out thing and you get super annoyed. So anyways, that's the video. Nice short video. Hopefully it helped you and I don't know. I'll make a video, another video sometime soon. Peace.